So before we get into playing around with Microsoft Excel, we have to understand we have a few new uh, definition terms. We've got the idea of something known as a table. Now, a table, it's not like, you know, what we eat off of. It's actually sort of this grid-like structure. And as you can see, I'm starting to draw something out here. You know, we, we saw this in Microsoft Word. You saw we had to insert a table, for example. Well, it starts to break down even further. Notice how right now what I'm starting to add in are these horizontal lines. Now, these horizontal lines, these are typically known as rows. And that's exactly what they do is they just add, section out off all of the horizontal sections. But then I come in here and I also throw in some vertical lines. Some vertical lines. And what these are known as is columns. Now this is where things differ a little bit in Microsoft Excel than in Microsoft Word where we were just working on inserting a table. One of the things you might notice is that we've started to introduce sort of one, two, three, four, five, six, and let me erase this for a second. You see that we started to add in these little notations on the top and bottom of everything. So say for example, I have my one, two, threes on the bottom, A, B, C, conveniently, D, E, F, G. Now I have a way to sort of identify which one of these I'm dealing with. And I say these because we actually have another term as well. So say for example, I'm looking at this guy right here, this one block. Well, how do I refer to it? How do I uh, say in particular that I'm talking about this guy? Well, again, the term that we like to use when we start thinking about this is we call this block something called a cell. And the way you can think about it is now if I have the C column in the three row, I would refer to this as, let's see, where can I put it? Uh, I would say that this is the C3 cell. Now what I can do from here is if we think about it, it's just like Battleship. Once upon a time, you all probably paid Battleship. If I were to draw out a ship across these three cells, a little dinghy here, when you were playing Battleship, what you would do is you would make these guesses. You'd say something like uh, E2. E2, miss. All right, all right. Well, uh, E3. E3, miss. E4, aha, E4, hit. And you'd be looking at the E column, and every time you set a number, you would start to do a row. Now, what this breaks down into is something known as cell referencing. And the reason why is because inside of Microsoft Excel we start getting into a little bit, I hate to say it, we get into a little bit of algebra. So now what I'm able to do is I'm able to say something like, uh, if we look for example that E4, that's where my ship was, I can now specify that again using E4, but to signal this kind of thing inside of Microsoft Excel, I would add in the equals sign. Okay, well why would I wanna do that? Again, inside of Microsoft Excel, we're no longer dealing with you know Battleship, we're not dealing with uh, hits and misses. What we're dealing with is typically numbers or letters or words, but we need some way to reference these things. So let's say, for example, that I have inside of my table, inside of my grid, I have the number in C2, I have the number 10. I have the number 10 inside of C2. Well, 
what I can do via cell referencing is I can come down to B3 and I can go equal C2 times 10. Now what does this do? C2, again, C2 references this C2, then does the multiplication. So it's going to move whatever was this, you know, C2. It takes whatever's inside of 10, or inside of a C2, which is 10, puts it here, 10 times 10, and then all of a sudden inside of B3, what we'll get is 1 hundred.